Hi, boys and girls. We're going to start our next Junie B. Jones book. It's called Junie B. Jones Loves Handsome Warren. This is the number seven in the series by Barbara Park, and the illustrations are done by Denise Brunkus. So let's begin with chapter one. Handsome Warren. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice. Except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. I am in the grade of kindergarten. My room is named Room 9. I have two bestest friends at that place. One of them is named Lucille. She is way beautifuler than me. That's because her Nana buys her fancy dresses. Plus, also, she has lacy socks with ribbons on them. My other friend is named Grace. Me and that Grace ride the school bus together. She has my favorite kind of hair. It is called automatically curly. Also, she has pink high tops and fast feet. That Grace is the fastest runner in all of kindergarten. She wins me at all of our races. I am a good sport about it, except for sometimes I call her the name of Cheater Pants. Me and that Grace and Lucille play horses together before school. Horses is when you gallop and trot and snort. I am Brownie. Lucille is blacky, and that Grace is yellowy. Only today, me and that Grace couldn't find Lucille anywhere. We looked all over the place for her. Darn it, I said. Now we can't play horses that good, because two horses isn't as fun as three horses. Maybe she's just late, said that Grace, or else maybe something went wrong at her house. I tapped on my chin, very thinking. Hmm, yes, I said. Maybe her grandpa brought a parrot to her house and Lucille was getting dressed for school and then the parrot flew into her room and he got all tangled up in her hair and so her grandpa had to call 911 and a real life fireman came to her house and he cut the parrot out of her hair with scissors. Only that left a teeny baldy spot. But guess what? If you wear a big bow, nobody can even tell the difference. That Grace looked curious at my big bow. I did a gulp. <clears throat> Yeah, only pretend I didn't even tell you that secret, I said very softly. After that, me and Grace looked for Lucille some more. And guess what? I spotted her. That's what. Hey, Grace, I see her. I see Lucille. She is running past the water fountain. That Grace spotted her too. Hey, somebody's chasing her, Junie B, she yelled. Who is that? Who is that boy? Who is chasing Lucille? I squinted my eyes very harder. It is an evil stranger boy, Grace, I shouted back. An evil stranger boy is chasing Lucille. So now you and me will have to save her. I waved my arms in a fast circle. Come on, Yellowy, let's go. Let's go save Lucille. Then me and that Grace springed into action. We galloped our fastest after that stranger. That Grace caught up to him speedy quick. She shoot her arms all around. Go away, boy. Go away, leave Lucille alone, she shouted. Yes, I yelled, leave Lucille alone or I will tell the principal on you because me and him are personal friends and he will pound your head. After that, me and that Grace kept on shooing our arms until he ran away. Then we did a high five. Hooray, we shouted. Hooray, hooray, we saved Lucille from the evil stranger boy. All of a sudden, Lucille came stomping at us very angry. Why did you do that? She hollered. Why did you chase that boy away? Now you ruin everything. Me and that Grace looked surprised at her. But we thought you wanted us to do that, said that Grace. We saved you from the evil stranger boy, I explained very proud. Lucille did a mad breath. <sighs> he is not an evil stranger boy, Junie B. He's a new kid in room eight, and his name is Warren. And he's the handsomest boy I ever saw. He's even been in a TV commercial before. Me and that Grace raised up our eyebrows. He has, said that Grace. He's been in a TV commercial before, I said. That Grace stood on her tippy toes. Where did he go? I didn't even get a good look at him, she said. Me too, I said. I didn't get a good look at him too. How handsome is he, Lucille? Is he handsome like a movie star? Just then, that Grace jumped up and down, very excited. There he is. There he is. He's over there under that tree. See him, Junie B? See him? I squinted my hardest at that guy. 
Then my eyes practically popped out of my head. Because he was handsome, like a movie star. That's why. Wowie, wow, wow, what a chunk, I said. I would like him for my new boyfriend, I think. Lucille made angry eyes at me. No, she hollered. Don't say that, Junie B. He can't be your boyfriend. He can only be my boyfriend, because I saw him first. I thought it over very careful. Now, here's the problem, Lucille, I said. Me and Grace didn't actually get a crack at him yet. Yes, yeah, said that, Grace. We definitely need a crack at him. So now you have to introduce us. <gasps> Lucille stamped her foot. No, she yelled. No, 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 because you guys will steal him away from me, and that's not even fair. Plus, Junie B already has a boyfriend. Remember, Junie B? You already have Ricardo. Remember? I did a, another peek at Handsome Warren. Yeah, only I think I might be ready to move on, I said. That's when Lucille's face got boiling mad, and she stomped away from us, speedy quick. Only me and that Grace didn't even care. We just kept peeking and peeking at that handsome boy, because he was beauty to our eyes. Tune in next time for Chapter 2.